Let's talk about the watch list and one of the new tools that has come to the watch list. And that tool is how to turn your chart into a financials dashboard or to get a financial summary for a specific symbol on your watch list. And it's much more than that as well because there's financials, there's technicals, and there's forecasts. So your chart has now become something much more than just a chart with say candles or a line chart. It's now also a dashboard for all of this important information about specific symbols or about specific companies that you follow. So let's just take a quick step back here and start from the top. Okay. We all have charts and we use them to follow the price of symbols. We might perform technical analysis on these charts. We might draw levels. We might keep very brief notes or draw arrows, anything of the sort. We could change the colors. It's really up to us on how we want to approach the chart. But what's super important also is mastering your watch list because once you've added several symbols here, you can now go beyond the chart and especially for stocks or publicly traded companies as we mentioned once you click this metrics tab and then click financials you've now turned the chart into much more than just a chart showing price you now have all of this financial and fundamental information right in front of you just like this in addition, if you've built out a robust watch list and then click a symbol on your watch list, the dashboard will instantly update to show you the symbol that you clicked on. So for example, we are looking at Ferrari right now. Here are the financials of Ferrari. If we now click Nvidia, it will show us the financials of Nvidia. So it's really all about building out your watch list and then using this metrics button to dive in a little bit deeper so we also want to remind you of what you can see about these companies if you click overview you can see the an overview of the company including its valuation its market cap valuation ratios sort of a high level look at the company what it does and what it's fundamental picture looks like as you can see there's this about section so oftentimes you'll come across a company you may not even know what it does but you can read this about section to quickly understand what that company does and if it fits your thesis or your interests or the kind of company you're looking for you can click statements and you can see some financial statements for the company and always remember that you can dive in fairly deep into the actual financial statements of the company by clicking each drop down arrow here to see the key line items that happen within a company's financial statements if you click statistics you'll get more of a statistical overview of the company including valuation ratios then of course there's dividends if the company pays dividends this screen will be filled out there's earnings and there's revenue well let's move on now to the next topic which is that you can click the technicals button from the menu from the metrics tab so we click technicals and now for all of the technical traders out there we have a technical picture about the symbol that we've selected or the symbol that we're charting and if we have a watch list we can click through it and these technicals will update instantly one thing we want to draw your attention toward is to remember the time frame up here at the top because the technicals on this page will update depending on the time frame that you're on this first item here is the technical summary which brings in tons of key data points and then synthesizes that those data points into one sort of financial or technical sorry technical summary about the direction of the symbol based on those technical indicators keep in mind this is never a buy or sell recommendation you can read that warning down here at the bottom this is none of this is investment advice it's more of an informational visual for you to better understand the underlying technicals of a specific company and of course you can do that by time frame if you do scroll down you can see all the oscillators the moving averages and the pivots 
Well, let's keep moving on and let's go now to the forecast button at the bottom. The forecast button is really important if the company that you follow is covered by Wall Street or by professional investors or by large banks and financial institutions. Because if that company is covered by them, well, now you can see their prediction. So for example, here's NVIDIA, and we can see that there are 42 analysts on this stock, and they are offering a one-year price forecast. Of those 42 analysts, one analyst sees a max gain of 67%, another sees a minimum loss of, or a, I should, a loss of 19%, and you can see the average is plus 9%. In addition, if you scroll down, you can see these ratings broken out a little bit more. 36 analysts have a buy, strong buy. 36 analysts have a strong buy, seven have a buy, six have a hold, one have a sell, zero has a strong sell. Then there is EPS and revenue and much more. Keep in mind though, this is very important. These are just analysts at professional firms making a prediction. They are not giving advice or recommending it anyway. And actually this information can sometimes be used as a contrarian indicator. For example, there are 36 strong buys. Does that mean the euphoria is too high? or because there's still one cell, is it still sort of balanced? That's up to you to decide, but you can use this information to see the market in a different light. Do you want to bet with the analysts or bet against the analysts? Or perhaps you wanna stay away entirely because there's just too much coverage. And like always, this page will instantly update the second you click it. Uh, if you're clicking another symbol on your watch list. So without further ado, we just want to take a minute or two to remind you about the importance of your watch list. While we did show you this new metrics button and how you can turn your chart into so much more than just a place to visualize price, draw TA, write notes, it's also now possible to make a financials dashboard or a technicals dashboard or a forecast dashboard just by clicking each item in this menu. And then of course, to go back to your chart, there's a, an X icon and you can close out by clicking that and we're back to the chart. So your watch list is really something to master, to understand. And one of the best ways to get used to this tools to this tool is just to do it yourself go ahead and click the watch list button at the top right and dive right in. From there, you'll be able to really understand and learn these tools, including all of the capabilities that the watch list offers. If you're looking to learn more about the watch list, including reading ideas, posting to minds, adding notes about a symbol or reading specific news, well, we have videos on our YouTube channel that you can watch, and we're also updating those videos so that you can learn more. So be on the lookout for a super in-depth new explainer about the watch list and what else you can do here. Thanks so much for watching. We look forward to reading your comments below. And as always, subscribe, share, Please keep supporting our work because it helps us make more videos like this to ultimately help you. So thanks again for watching and we will see you soon.